I so try. Just where I'm grown and own. Okay. 23 to lay off. Please welcome to the Amherst Morning Program. From Hackensack Meridian Health, the co CEOs of that organization, Bob Garrett and John Lloyd. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Good morning. Don. How, how you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, we're doing great. Hey, what a great day. We're on IMAS in the morning, and we're getting a new governor in the state of New Jersey. How about well, that? Well, uh, uh, raising the taxes on the millionaires and uh, <laughs> legalizing dope. I don't know about all that. I don't but... know either. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me start with you, Mr. Garrett. How does a co CEO thing work out? <laughs> it's it's working out it's working out well. So uh, so John and I are co CEOs for two and a half years, and when the merger was contemplated, both our boards uh, felt strongly that they wanted their CEO to uh, to be the CEO of the new entity. So we worked out a, um, a an arrangement where for two and a half years we're going to be co CEOs, and then John was planning to retire after the two and a half years, and then it'd be you know from that point it's it's, it's the plan for for me to become the sole CEO. But honestly, um, it could not have worked out better. We have different um, different strengths. Uh, we uh, we complement each other, I think, really uh, nicely. It is unique, you know. The textbooks will tell you co CEOs, they'll you know they'll kill each other. It won't work, but uh, in our case, it really has. Uh, it, it's been a good experience. How long has it been now? It's been a year and a half. We're uh, yeah, we're we're 19 months into it, so we have I think another not, uh, another 11 months or so. Yeah, Don. Just to add to that, um, as Bob said, we've known each other for about 30 years. Uh, we both were in New Jersey. And we both uh, respected each other. It's really worked um, much better than we anticipated. As Bob said, we have different strengths, and, and that's one of the most important things. And also, we respect each other. So it's really worked well. Uh, from time to time, we go behind, climbed, uh, go behind closed doors and uh, always resolve it. So uh, believe it or not, it works really well. One of the nicer people, not to patronizing, but one of the nicer people I've ever met in my life is Bob Garrett for a lot of reasons, personal and professional. And I thank you. A- absolutely. I, I agree with you, you 100%. And so now you're not the John Lloyd who was married to Chris Everett, were you? No, but, uh, um, you know, I was a tennis player, but no, I was not married to Chris. Were you any good? <laughs> I was average, but a lot of fun. Did you play professionally? Not at all. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what's going on in Hackensack, Brandy, and Hill? Start with you, John. Well, just a lot of things are very, very exciting. Um, I think uh, most recently uh, we announced the merger with JFK in Edison. Uh, That's a great uh, addition uh, to our network. Uh, We now have 16 uh, hospitals in the network. Um, And, you know, a lot of people say, well, why are you getting larger? And it's really not about being larger. It's really about uh, having access uh, uh, for our patients to to access our services. And uh, so right now we're in about seven or eight counties in New Jersey, and uh, we're able to uh, have great coverage. I have a fairly dumb question, Bob, but uh, well, what does it mean to me as a patient that Hackensack, for example, is, uh, is affiliated with all these other, is merged with all these other hospitals? Well, what it, what it means uh, to uh, patients in our area is better access to quality care because we, we now have 16 hospitals. So what we're trying to do is make sure all of our hospitals are at you know the highest level of quality. And, and as you know, Don, Hackensack University Medical Center has been number one for uh, many, many years, uh, ranked by different organizations. So there's a, a you know, great deal of sharing best practices. In addition to that, we're in over 160 ambulatory locations throughout New Jersey, and we directly serve two-thirds of the population of New Jersey. So you could, you could access uh, quality care whether you know, you're an inpatient in a hospital or in an ambulatory sur- surgery center or an urgent care center or in one of our nursing homes. So it, it really means you know, being comprehensive and providing the best access to, to care. So patients really do benefit from a, uh, a, a merge system like Hackensack Meridian Health. Don, if I could add to that, um, back in the late 80s, uh, after becoming the CEO of Jersey Shore University Medical Center, I wondered why we made uh, patients travel to our hospitals for ambulatory services. And uh, it just made no sense to me. So in in the late uh, 80s and early 90s, we started to build what we call our continuum of care. And these are all the ambulatory facilities that are out in the market. These are not physicians' offices but uh, ambulatory facilities, and it's worked out really, really well. What so, do you mean by ambulatory facility? Well, they, they would be things like um, convenient care, urgent care, um, home care, surgery centers, rehab, 
Uh, those are just to name a few. And one that we're very proud of is the Health Village of Jackson in uh, uh, Monmouth and Ocean County. That's actually in Ocean County. And that is a 150,000 square foot facility, one stop shopping for all your health care needs. And Don, you know, the, the, the fact of the matter is that more and more health care is being provided outside the four walls of hospitals. So having a vast ambulatory care network like Hackensack Meridian is really important for, uh, for us to provide the full array of services to, uh, to the patients we serve. We're talking with Robert Garrett and John uh, Lloyd, co CEOs of uh, Hackensack Meridian Health. Um, about their recent expansion, and uh, that's with JFK, right? Yes. yes. So, so JFK is uh, is located centrally in uh, in New Jersey, and it really links the northern part of our network with the southern part of our network, and uh, it it also adds the 16th hospital to uh, our network. And JFK is really well known for uh, for their academics, but they're also well known for neurosciences and rehabilitation medicine. So for a lot of reasons, it made great sense for us to add JFK to the uh, to, to our uh, our health network. And well, with, with, oh, go ahead, John. Oh yes, I'd like to give a big shout out to Ray Fredericks. He's the president there. Uh, we've no, I've known him for close to thirty years. We've had a couple of joint ventures with him. It's a phenomenal organization. The culture there is is all about patient care, and that's what we're all about as well. So if you're a patient, and, and something happens to you. How do you know where to go? I mean, with the, what's got me to think, what prompted that question is these uh, various ambulatory uh, facilities now. Right. So, you know. I mean, what, what do you do? So you, you, you have different options. A, a lot of patients still have primary care physicians, and they'll help to direct patients uh, where to go. We have a clinically um, integrated uh, network now of over 3,000 physicians that are a part of it. And in total, there's over 6,500 6, physicians affiliated with Hackensack Meridian. But in addition to that, uh, you know, if you access a healthcare systems uh, website, there's um, really directions in terms of uh, wh- where, you know, to, to really access our system, whether it's at an ambulatory uh, surgery center, an urgent care center, or if it's something serious, you know, you, you know we still uh, obviously want people to come into the emergency room if, if they're not quite sure uh, what level of care they need. But there, there are great options now, and, you know, especially young people, more and more are using these uh, ambulatory care facilities, more and more are using what they call telehealth, so they have, like, virtual health visits with, uh, with physicians. It's just, it's just giving uh, patients and consumers more options for health care. How is the, um, how is the um, mess that uh, health insurance for most individuals is, Obamacare and so on, affected just the ability for people to come to, to, come to one of your facilities? Uh, it's, it's John. Uh, one of the things I said from day one, um, even when Obamacare came into existence, that if, if I were in charge, I would have done two things. Number one is I would have provided coverage for every resident in this country, which I think uh, we should do anyway. And, um, and you know, that's, that's very, very important. And the second thing I would have done is I would have kept it simple. And they make it too complicated. I would have done a phase one, phase two. But uh, right now, it's a mess in Washington. We're very concerned about our patients not being able to get coverage. And uh, we'll just have to see what else uh, we can do to sort of advocate for them. Yeah, and Don, in, in, in New Jersey, it's no different than a lot of other states. So on the health care insurance exchange, we've, we've lost a lot of uh, insurance options. So consumers, uh, patients don't have as many options. And the other thing we're really concerned about is uh, when the Affordable Care Act was put in place, uh, it expanded Medicaid greatly. And in New Jersey, we were one of the Medicaid expansion states. If that were to be revoked, um, uh, patients would be uninsured and they would end off, uh, unfortunately, in our emergency rooms, uh, sometimes where they're not needed to be. So it's it's really a, a big issue. And we've been really advocating, you know, for reform of the Affordable Care Act, but not to necessarily throw out the baby with the bathwater. But how have you been coping in the meantime, kind of as yeah, I mean, sort of my original question. Yeah, we've been we've been we've been doing okay. Um, and what we do, we have a service at Hackensack Meridian where we help people find uh, find insurance plans. So people can call our um, our offices, our billing offices, and our um, our insurance offices, and uh, they can be assisted in in trying to enroll either in Medicaid or in um, other private insurance plans. So we've been we've been coping, but the uncertainty of not knowing, you know, what's going to happen with the Affordable Care Act, what's going to happen 
to the Medicaid expansion uh, really makes it difficult to plan for the future. Don, just to add to that, uh, we take every patient who comes to our facilities, and uh, that's, that's our commitment as a not-for-profit, um, and we take care of every patient who comes to us. I'd like to take this opportunity, by the way, to thank you for your sponsorship of uh, Stage 17 there to your radio station, uh, sponsored by Hackensack Meridian Health. Um, we uh, we just saw so we just got a little tour of it and um, I'll tell you what there's there's more branding and, and logos here than uh, there there are at our hospitals Don. <laughs> <laughs> well uh, we have a very energetic um, enthusiastic uh, proactive uh, sales uh, staff so absolutely um, well congratulations to both of you on I mean I, I had visions of uh, before you became on this morning. We're trying to drive a wedge between the two of you <laughs> so that we'd have a, uh, a Texas Chainsaw death match. But it sounded like a really a, 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 a wonderfully a working relationship for both of you, if I can get it out. And, and um, of course, the expansion of Hackensack has been uh, oh, something to watch. I've been you know, just sitting here watching it for the past, well, well I guess 40 years. Yeah. Really a remarkable job. Going back to John Ferguson and now you guys, and yeah. so congratulations. And Th- thank you, Don, and, and thank you for all your support for, for many, many years. And, you know, as, as I think a lot of your listeners know, De- Deirdre Imus is still very involved in the Environmental Health Center, and just I just had a conference call with her a few weeks ago. We're going to focus uh, on, an, on a whole new initiative with environmental health research. So she's been a great advocate, and we really appreciate both of your support. I see her on the, she's on the phone every single day. Yeah. For the people at her center running out, so. Don, I, I want to congratulate you and Deirdre, and uh, to Deirdre, Deirdre, go Villanova. <laughs> my, <laughs> my son is there now. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thanks, you guys. Thank uh, you Robert very much. Robert Garrett and John uh, Lloyd, co-CEOs of Hackensack Meridian Health. Battle of the Bands coming up. Nearly 10 minutes down till the hour. 